Here's a time-saving tip for InDesign. If you find yourself creating common sizes over and over again, create document presets. So by doing that, the first thing you do is establish your size. So in this case, we'll do a standard size postcard, eight and a half by five and a half. And we wanna make sure that that postcard always has bleeds. So we'll establish our eighth inch bleed. And uh, we also wanna make sure that our margins are uh, quarter inch. That's good clear space to make sure nothing's too close to the cut edge. So at this point, uh, let's make sure it's two-sided. Um, we'll turn off facing pages because it's not a booklet. And uh, now we just choose save preset. Now we're just going to call it uh, eight and a half by five and a half postcard. And click OK. At this point, if we want to create a large postcard, say 11 by six, uh, we still have all our margins established, our bleeds established, two-sided. Uh, we'll save this preset and we'll call this uh, 6 by 11 postcard. Okay. And uh, let's do one more. Let's uh, save a business card, even though you can easily pull down business card here. Three and a half. Excuse me. By two. Uh, this will just make one-sided and uh, again we can keep all of our other settings save preset business card all right now under the document preset we've got these listed we can cancel out of here now in in the window in limbo as I call it we can uh, easily go to document presets see them all listed from here we can go in and define and uh, we can edit them here we can delete them here the only thing we can't do is reorder them so if you plan on creating multiples and you want to kind of keep common sizes all close to each other or postcards together self mailers together um, things like that you may want to create your list beforehand and then enter them all in in that order so they stay somewhat organized. Otherwise, they'll be scattered all over the place. Well, that's it for now. Really hope that helps, and well, we enjoy having you come by. Thanks. Bye.